Hey there, Everyday Survival, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Stanley Pour Over Coffee Brewer. It's a single brew. It could actually brew more than a single cup. It could, you could brew a couple cups in here, and you basically put your uh, coffee grounds in here and pour your steaming water in. We're going to show, I'm going to show you how this works and give you my opinion on this, and I'm going to compare it to my old standby, the Swiss Gold by Freeling that I've had for 20 years with the Gold Filter. Uh, this is an excellent... Um, single brew for like when you're in the field or I mean even at home when you just want to make one cup uh, especially if the power is out though that's why it, my uh, original intent intent with these is it's a power out and I can uh, still boil water and have coffee you know which obviously if you don't have coffee well you know forget everything else so let's look at these Okay, one of the big glaring differences on these two is one, this Stanley is stainless steel. It's obviously a lot bigger, which doesn't make it as easy to, um, you know, backpack out. But I wasn't really worried about this because I, uh, I looked at this space in here as just space I can put stuff into my backpack and store in there until I'm ready to use. Um, the main part of this uh, difference is this has like a tubular mesh screen very fine uh, this is polished stainless steel and it goes through the body of this and you will set this on your coffee mug to brew or uh, it actually this is actually kind of made to go on the thermos of uh, for Stanley but I find it will work fine with you know most coffee mugs so in theory it's very similar to this one although um, the filter is quite different as this has uh, just this is just a very uh, angled more flatter surface uh, but it's the same principle putting water uh, your coffee in water putting uh, steaming water over it with a fine mesh screen and letting it slowly drip through to um, brew your coffee um, what I really like this one and this is known they call this a neutral plastic Basically, they they uh, claim that um, it doesn't react with the coffee, so you won't get that plastic uh, smell. So I'm really happy with this. I've had this 20 years. Uh, the Swiss Gold by Freeling. I don't remember where I bought it. I've seen them up for like 35, 39 bucks. Uh, 30, over 30 dollars. Uh, I looked one up. Now I know I didn't pay that much for it years ago. This Stanley. I picked up at the shelf at Walmart. I just saw it and said, hey, I think I need another one of those. I have two, uh, you know, outdoor bags type things, uh, setups, and I need two different brewers. And for, I think it was just under 20 bucks at Walmart, I said, hey, I'm going to give it a try. So with both of these, I brew at the same quantities. You go, I use about a one teaspoon per half cup of... Uh, water so with this one you're going to want to just you're going to want to put the coffee kind of in a circular motion to get it evenly around this with with the swiss gold it's a lot easier you put it in and shake it and it uh, spreads out real uh, even so I, I use the same quantities uh two tablespoons for a cup three if you want a strong cup of coffee with this swiss gold uh, you fill up the filter part, you put the cap on, which is, has perforations, you put this rim on, and uh, you put it in your coffee mug, and you pour the water in slowly, and it'll slowly drip through those perforations into your coffee, uh, through the filter, and it'll brew. Now, the same thing goes for the Stanley. Um, they recommend... Again, about the same I do. Three teaspoons, uh, tablespoons, if you want a, a strong brew. Now with this, I found you gotta shake it a little more and get it even. And when you pour the water, you wanna pour it in a circular fashion, which I'm gonna be doing here in a minute and show you how this works. I would say the main difference with this is this is made out of metal. In certain instances, I imagine this one could be crushed easier, but I wasn't too worried about it. I, I just wanted to try a different style, and for 20 bucks, uh, we tried this. So let's just see how they work with brewing a cup, and uh, 
it was see if it was worth the money. Okay, what I found out really quick here is this Stanley, uh, when you go to uh, put it in, you need to turn this bottom in. That'd be clockwise a little, like one full turn for it to latch. Actually popped out when I did that. So we're going to start over with that and add some coffee. Okay, so Stanley recommends when you pour your coffee in with their unit, you try to do it in a circular fashion as best as you can. Go around once or twice and you just let it seep in. Now knowing this one, also it is very fine mesh. My Swiss gold here is um, you pour in, you know, three or four ounces and, um, oops. Oh, head on the wrong way. Okay three or four ounces and just let it slowly brew. These are not fast brewers. These are very fine mesh on both of these. And another thing, if you don't like grit in your coffee, you need to get a really uh, uh, a not quite so fine brew, but you will still with these, as fine as they are, they don't filter out like um, paper filters. So if you don't like a little grit in your coffee, uh, you're probably not gonna like these. You know, these for me, these are more emergency situation, and I'm willing to put up a little grit just to have coffee. Um, they're not as perfect as, um, you know, paper filters. You could bring paper filters in the field when you're using these or camping, whatever you decide to use them, uh, or at home. I use this one at home a lot. Sometimes before we got the co-ring uh, and had the little single pods, I used this a lot uh, when I was, uh, you know, living by myself. I just wanted one brew one cup of coffee and uh, it, it's actually though it's pretty fast I, I fill this up twice the little cup and you got a nice cup of coffee and it makes a strong cup of coffee um, and I I, uh, I had a cup from this cold uh, this Stanley uh, earlier and it is a strong cup of coffee and you'll get a little you'll get some grit through there I'm not gonna lie about that you could also bring filters in the field again like I said if you uh, wanted to filter so there you go this is a great way to brew coffee in the field uh, you see it's still going it takes uh, about three minutes four minutes to this to brew all the way and then uh, yeah this Stanley looks there they're, they look to be brewing at the same rate I got about half a cup in each one right now and I kind of expected that the filter surfaces are actually the same except like it's a different principle this one has a tube and this one it just has a slight angle looks like about a 15 degree angle cone on it you can see it comes in out it's not brewing super hard this is, looks really dark too these brew a dark cup uh, I probably had a little too much coffee two teaspoons uh, tablespoons should be enough This is about three quarter filled. So a couple of minutes go by. So there you go. Oops. Yeah, it's best just to leave it on and brew and uh, you measure it out. So it's like three, like I said, three or four minutes and you got a nice brew. I, th I think I did time it was like three minutes if you just poured it in all at once here. This, I think this cup will hold like six uh, ounces up here. You gotta let it go down and pour two more in to get your eight ounce cup. All right, they're all done, and we're gonna call that about three to four minutes. Uh, I, I noticed one thing about it with using these just now, this has a little tab here to hold that, and then uh, actually, you know, I've had this for so long, I didn't notice how uh, one uh, kind of fault on this is, you pull this out and uh, you're ready to brew. Boy, that's a really nice dark brew. Uh, this one, you touch it, and it leaves this uh, piece down here. Uh, this used to stay snapped together, but it's so old it's kind of worn in. And uh, so that's something small, though. I've never really noticed it. Uh, it looks like uh, they both brewed about the same color brew. I use the same amount. So <coughs> at the end of the day, 
you know, 20 bucks and uh, 30 bucks. I don't think you go wrong with either one of these. The Swiss uh, Gold by Freeling or the Stanley. Uh, I'm looking at the Stanley thinking this is uh, this feels heavy duty just like all their Stanley products. You know, I'm feeling this thing will last a long time uh, under, you know, bad use. And I like the way it takes apart for cleaning. So I'm not going to really give the nod to either one of these. I think these are both comparable. For weight, it would go to this plastic one. But really, the Stanley is really not very that heavy. And, uh, you know, it's definitely back. You could put it in your backpack easy. And there's a lot of room to store other stuff in here, too. So we're going to give this a go. The Stanley pour over uh, for 20 bucks. Uh, shit hits a fan, prepping, whatever, camping. Uh, obviously, if you don't have coffee, there's no use going on. Um, at least for me. So that's all I got today. Thanks for joining me. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next video. Everyday Survival out.